Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Emilio Suarez and I want to give you an exercise, a writing exercise. I've been doing this exercise um, not very much because it's more based on a crime story. If you want to write a crime story and I don't usually write crime stories, but this is a very good exercise just for the fun of doing it. And usually when we write a story, any kind of story, we focus, of course, on our protagonist because that's the most important character that there it is in a story. The other characters are extremely important also, but of course the protagonist used to be there most of the time, either in a book or in a movie. But when we write, for example, a crime story, the genre of a crime story, we usually uh, focus ourselves right in the detective of course it's the detective is going to be the protagonist or the police officer is going to be the protagonist and he or she is trying to resolve a case usually a murder case and we focus on how the character is going to resolve it so what we usually do we think about the protagonist first the protagonist finds a crime scene and then starts trying to resolve the case but try this exercise and this is not only an exercise i think it's gonna be very very good if you want to write a crime story start with the antagonist okay start with the murderer and focus yourself in the mind of the antagonist start with the case start with the murder and create a crime that it's impossible to resolve like you were going to commit the crime in real life okay Think about that, forget about the protagonist, forget about that the protagonist need, in my story, the protagonist needs to resolve the case at the end, forget all about it. Focus on your antagonist and create the crime, the perfect crime, the most perfect crime that you can imagine. Create that and after you do that, then focus your energy and your mind and everything about you in the protagonist, in the detective and make the detective try to resolve the case so you have to outsmart yourself. It's not easy and there can be times when you create a crime so perfect, so perfect that you just can't resolve it yourself. If you can do that, imagine how your story is gonna look like it just imagine the crime itself in the movie or in the story in your book and the detective trying to resolve that case because the audience is gonna put themselves in the protagonist's shoes so they're gonna try to resolve the case also okay that's this is why you see a lot of movies or a lot of stories where the antagonist just start doing things or get sloppy because he's too emotional or because I don't know he just wants to get caught and I don't mean those stories are bad but they can be better imagine the people trying to resolve that case okay it's a simple exercise simple exercise to understand but it's not easy to perform remember this you have to put yourself in the shoes of every single character that you create in your story. That's very important. Sometimes, lots of times, we just think about the protagonist all the time. And in second place, we put the antagonist. Okay? And we kind of bend the rules for each one of them. But they are your creations. You create them. You know what's inside of their minds. Don't try to create one character smarter than the other because you want the smarter one to win. It's not gonna work. So you're gonna have just a flappy story. The most important thing that you have in your story are your characters. And if you're interested, I have a course on creating characters. I'm gonna put it just right here. Uh, so you can go and watch the video that I made where I put a free lecture so you can have an idea how the course is going to be and it doesn't matter if you're not writing a crime scene or a crime movie just try it out it's still a writing exercise a writing exercise where you're gonna challenge yourself your own mind and let's see what you can do with it if the scene or the storyline it's great just put it in a drawer 
for the next project or maybe you're just gonna get inspired and just write it so i hope you have enjoyed this video and let me know if you want me to keep on i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you want to learn a little bit more or you want more tips on storytelling just let me know in the comments uh any questions that you have so i can keep on creating these tips so I can help you and help myself in just being better writers. Remember to subscribe so you can watch all the videos that I have and um, all the videos that I'm gonna put and give it a thumbs up if you really like it, okay? Take care and gracias YouTube.